Hey everybody, um, it's Brittany. I decided, um, I've been blogging for a while um, on my blog website and I decided to finally maybe do a video blog as a suggestion by my husband um, because sometimes I, I don't blog because I have a story that I want to tell but it's really hard to put into words. So this is one of those stories and I hope that this is something that I'm able to do more. I really, really enjoy it and if I don't have time to blog um, as far as like writing down um, everything that I've experienced that I'm going to talk about, um, this might be just the easier way. And some of you that have read my blog, you kind of know that some of the stories can get a little lengthy because God has done something so amazing in, in a lot of them and um, sometimes words just don't do it justice but anyway I'm trying this video blog um, after you guys you know listen to it just let me know what you think and um, yeah anyway um, I want to share a story with you guys today that I've been wanting to blog about forever um, but I just couldn't I couldn't form it into a word blog because I just knew that there's no way I could do it justice but it's about a topic that I think that we hear a lot about, um, but I don't know that all of us really experience it. It's about God's love and God's unconditional love. And as you know, as I even say those words, I think, hmm, I wonder, I wonder if if people will watch this and just hear that and and say, oh, I've heard it before, I've heard it all before, forget it. Um, because as a Christian, even myself, when I start hearing the message about God's love, I, I tend to think, oh, I know, I know about God's love for me. I, I get it. And and I may or may not shy away from listening to the message if I'm listening to a message or podcast or whatever. Um, but today it's just a short clip of just kind of a, just sharing a story with you guys in a way that God really showed up in my own personal life of what his love for me looked like. Um, the story is about my nephew Noah. He is four. And this story has been on my heart for months now and, and I just didn't know how to tell it or I didn't know how to describe it. But Noah and I um, have uh, this little saying that we do between each other. Um, whenever I'm around him I'll say, I'll say, Noah, Noah who do I love? And he'll say, Noah. And I'll say, well, who's Noah? And he'll say, me. And I'm like, yes, that's right. And for months and months and months, he just continued to say Noah. And then I would say, who's Noah? And he would say me. And we would just kind of go back and forth. And, and I eventually just started kind of holding him after I would say it and say, oh, I just, when are you going to understand that it's you? And I would just say that whenever I would hug him. And, and finally, one day I was sitting on the couch with him and he was kind of reclined back um, while we were sitting there and, and I just whispered in his ear and I said, Noah, who do I love? And he said, me. And I said, yes, you got it. You, you really get it. And I just, I, I, I hugged him and held him and he giggled and I mean, he's four. So this moment wasn't as transformational for him as it was for me um, as an adult. Um, but after that happened, the, the Lord just, just spoke to my heart and said, that's how I feel about you. And, and I was just like, well, yeah, of course you, you love me. I, I get it. And I did get it. I, I, I felt like I got it at least. Um, but there's something about that story and, and that whole situation that just really spoke to me that how many times have we... Um, just just been in the presence of the Lord and, and will say, God loves Brittany and God loves the church and God loves this group over here and God loves us all. But to say God loves me can be a little bit um, maybe intimidating, not, not necessarily intimidating in a bad way, um, but it definitely takes a lot. I mean, for me personally to say God loves me. Um, and I can say it all day long, surfaced, but to sit down and really say, God loves me. I think that when we get a hold of that, I picture God doing the same thing that I did to Noah that day. He really got it. Um, he, he, just pick, he picks us up and um, holds us and just loves on us and, and says, you got it. 
you really get it. And and maybe for a four-year-old boy, um, he doesn't cognitively understand that or, or can't put everything together, but no one knows that Aunt B loves him um, because I just, we share that. We share that bond that I can share with him and say, Noah, who do I love? And he knows that I love him and he makes it personal. And so I just share that little story with you because it speaks so loud to the Christian community, I believe. And, and how many times we say God loves us, God loves the world, God loves everybody, but we fail to really take time to intimately come into the presence of the Lord and say, you love me. Like you really love me. Like, like not, oh, you know, I, I love you because of this or because of that. You just love me. Like, I don't have to do anything to earn God's love. It's already there. He loves me. And I I had an amazing experience with the Lord um, sometime after this. And there's a David Crowder song called How He Loves Us. And um, I was just singing out in my car, just belting out and just just loving the lyrics because it's a, it's a crucial song of, of God's love for us and just the intimacy that that, that breathes between us. Um, but I was in the middle of the song and the chorus of, oh, how he loves us, oh, how he loves us. And, and the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, um, you know, change the words to being about you. And I just thought, well, that's strange. And so I did, and uh, the next chorus I said, how you love me, how you love me, and uh, of course I just bawled and um, could not believe what had happened. I just thought, wow, this whole time it was that simple. Um, It just really took me receiving God's love, um, knowing that on no merit of my own is it there, and uh, God just loves me. He just loves hanging out with me, and He loves um, conversing with me. He loves being in everything that I do, not because He's um, some bossy um, Father up in heaven who doesn't want me to do things that, that, you know, I want to do, but He wants the best for me. He longs for me just to to be in His presence and to obey Him. his words because he he wants to protect me he wants me to stay in his presence all the time and he he loves me enough to let me know that and so I don't know where you guys are today I don't know who this blog is for I think it's a pretty um simple message uh you know lesson to learn but I just wanted to kind of put that in a visual for some of you um that it's it's that simple um God just loves you And so whatever you're going through, wherever you're at today, maybe you just need to hear that God loves you. And and maybe you need to to look in the mirror today sometime or sometime this week and say, God loves me. Or just look at yourself and say, God loves you. And and just receive that. And and some of us are just turning our wheels to to try to get God to love us when He already does. He it's right there. There's there's nothing that we can do to earn it. It's already there. Um, and I just want to take you to a scripture that um, just really spoke to my heart today. And it's um, in Zephaniah three seventeen, And it says, The Lord your God in your midst, the mighty one, will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you with his love. He will rejoice over you with singing. And I just leave that with you guys today. And, and just as an encouragement that... Um, no matter what stuff's looking like for you. Um, I know that in my own life, you know, it's definitely um, kind of been a tough season, and it's just good to know that no matter how I um, perceive myself, that that God 100% loves me, and He's not only loves me, but He's madly in love with me, and He cares deeply about me. And so maybe that's for some of you out there today, and I pray this would encourage you and um, just soak in God's love today and maybe listen to that song and change the words like like God had me do and and really just just feel the presence of the Lord just overwhelm you um, with just his love because that's enough. Um, so I hope you guys have a great day and um, a great week. All right. Thanks.